notice that you started out with the uh, large ball on number one, and then on number two, you went to the small ball, the five par, and then back to the large ball here. Is that the strategy that you're going to use today? Jim, I've always tried to do that when I have the option, and there's no wind blowing like uh, right now. I use it on the longer holes and the narrower holes where I can keep it straight and yet hit it hard. Gene, did you ever do that? <laughs> no. I don't know. He didn't have big balls in his day. <laughs> that was a kind of partial one. Right. <laughs> Jim, I want to tell you one thing. That shot he hit to that hole there that uh, didn't roll two feet, and if it was a small ball, it might have gone pretty near up to that $10,000. Remember that, Tony, 10000 for a hole in one. And please remind me from now on, will you, Jim? I'll do that, Tony, and thanks very much. And through the third hole, both players are one on the par. The match is all even on Shell's wonderful world of golf. Mm -hmm.